Pocatello High School is the most iconic building in Pocatello, Idaho. It was first built in 1892 and was known as West Side School. It was the most impressive building in the area and often served as a town square where concerts, athletic contests, and parades and picnics were held. Two U.S. presidents spoke on the high school grounds, Theodore Roosevelt and Howard Taft. Tragedy struck in December of 1914 when students returned from lunch to find smoke pouring from the doors and windows. Firemen rushed to the scene on horse-drawn wagons while teachers and students saved what they could from the hungry flames. Onlookers were aghast and teary-eyed when the great bell toppled. By nightfall, only a shell of the building remained. Blame for the blaze was placed on a pile of scraps in the furnace room. The school was rebuilt in the exact same location in 1917. In 1939, the old school was remodeled and additions were made, including a gymnasium, currently known as the Pit. In 1996, again, major renovations were added to the school, which took three years to complete. These renovations included new floors, lights, sidewalks, heating system, windows, and a new gymnasium known as the Palace. Even with all of the new renovations, the school still has its unique 1916 feel. December 2014. Pocatell High School makes international news with a ghostly figure caught on security cameras. The footage of the ghostly figure walking through the halls of Pocatell High School is picked up by news agencies around the world. Controversy rages on whether the footage is real, faked, or simply misrepresented. Tonight is your opportunity to make up your mind whether or not Pocatello High School is truly one of the most haunted high schools in America. Now, in Idaho, there is a school, all right, in Pocatello, and the school is allegedly haunted by a ghost. Roll the tape. Paranormal experts John and Lisa Bryan have been investigating Pokey High for years. After almost a century of haunting stories have surfaced from the school. The lights going on and off, um, having the police called because of issues going on in the building, all of that just goes to um, showing that it wasn't something that somebody put on there, that it was something that really happened. All right. So there's a ghost in Pocatello. That's what it was, allegedly. Now, full disclosure, yeah. when I went to school, I was haunted first by the nuns and then by the brothers. Mm-hmm. And by that, I mean the Franciscan brothers, not, you know, the brothers. But uh, let me just say, introduce some facts here. The building is 100 years old. A, a librarian once hung herself from a chandelier. A boy wow. drowned in the pool. There were some student suicides. So in addition to the lights going on and off, the kids, while they were in school, they say that the toilet bowl is just automatically flushed by themselves. Mm-hmm. And this image that they see, this translucent image, Yes, he hangs out in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So, but put it all together, it's Idaho, and this is the ghost of former Senator Larry Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I just solved it. I got felt. I can't top that one. No, but I will say this. I am sick and tired of ghosts being blamed for stupid stuff. Like, if I were a ghost, yeah. would I be hanging around in an empty school, flicking lights on and off? Of course I wouldn't. I'd be going to see movies for free. Or I'd be <laughs> spilling bowls of soup into, into Paul Krugman's lap. I'd be doing fun things. I'd misplace Brian Kilmeade's hairpiece. I would drive new dogs crazy by hiding his money clip. I wouldn't be sitting here. What... What ghost? You're dead. What ghost is going to waste his time on that? Okay, There's so right. much fun to, ha- to, to be, be having a ghost. If you are invisible. There are locker rooms. Well, easy. Easy. To now. clean. Right. There are locker rooms to clean. All right. A surveillance camera at an Idaho high school appears to have caught evidence of a ghost. Yeah. Later, officials examined the milky white image, concluded it was just another resident of Idaho. (laughs) That's Steve! (laughs) Hauntings at Pocatello High School have been reported by news media throughout the world, including Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, Australia, New Zealand, London, and throughout Europe. 
numerous internet sites have shared the stories of hauntings at Pocatello High School and to this day continue to debate whether or not they are real. Pocatello High School has been ranked in the top 10 most haunted high schools in America. After a century of ghostly sightings at Pocatello High School, the evidence continues to mount. October 2nd, 2015. Janitors, after a night of scrubbing concrete floors in the new Palace Gymnasium, return in the morning to find footprints on the wet floors they had scrubbed only hours before. The footprints appear to be barefoot, start in the middle of the floor, and walk directly into a wall. Uh, my name is Ryan Morrison. I've worked for four years now. And when I first got hired, they put me over here in the other building. I heard a lady jump off the top of the balcony and started screaming on her way down and totally went silent. Went in there and all the lights were out. So that's another thing that happens. Thursday, Thursday during the daytime, none of the kids were here because school was out. It was teacher and service day. Um, we had just scrubbed the floor um, that day after the volleyball games, Wednesday. And so we come back Friday morning and came down from the home ec room to get trash. And we looked down the hall and I noticed it first and I pointed out to Harry and he noticed it. And I called Bill up and I was like, have you been up here at all? And he said, no, I haven't been up there since Wednesday. And so started taking pictures. We followed the footprints and they disappeared into the wall. And right behind the wall is a staircase so we don't know where they went to. And after that, we took uh, pictures. We walked on the building Thursday night after we scrubbed it. Um, didn't wax it or nothing so the floor was just wet from the water on the machine. And walked everything down, turned out all the lights, went home, and that was about it. And then the footprints had to have happened between midnight and 8.30 in the morning. And nobody else had access? Well, there was access, but nobody came in because the teachers didn't have to come in Friday morning. They had to go to some other meetings or whatever. So nobody had to unset the alarm or nothing. It was still set from the night before we left. Does it scare you to work here? No, you get used to it. I got used to it um, a week after I've been here just because of the things that happen every night. One thing is for sure, ghostly sightings and paranormal activity at Pocatello High School are far from over. Believe or don't believe, we hope that you've enjoyed your visit to Pocatello High School and we hope to see you again on the Haunted History Tour.